Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and it is turbo time. I have a very important question for you, but before we get to that, please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all this testing. And today we're talking about Turbo 5.0. That's right, the 302 Ford. And I'm gonna ask you the following question. Which one would you rather have? Modifications, you know, basic bolt-ons, heads, cam, and intake on your five liter or a turbo on your otherwise stock five liter. I've got some dyno tests, so let's take a look and find out which one of those is better. Okay, guys, let's jump right in. As I indicated in the introduction, let's jump right in and take a look at the power gains offered by different bolt-ons on our five liter Ford 302, you know, heads, cam, intake, that kind of stuff. And then we'll kind of compare that to our theoretical turbo setup on the same combination and what would happen if we just ran boost from a turbo and what the comparison would be between those power gains. Obviously the ultimate thing is have a modified motor and have a turbo, but what if we only had to choose one of those? So let's take a look. Here is our stock five liter Ford. It was a rebuilt motor that had uh, forged rods and pistons in it actually. Uh, you would get the same results from doing something from the wrecking yard, but this one actually was a rebuilt one. We had uh, forged flat top pistons and valve reliefs. We had forged rods on it, but a, but a stock cast crank and a stock block. It had the factory E7 TE heads on it. They did have valve springs on them because later on, you know, we we're going to be adding a camshaft. So we had the valve springs installed. We had the stock upper and lower intake manifold and the stock throttle body. We originally ran this with um, stock shorty headers and stock exhaust manifolds, but this was with actually with long tube headers. Uh, it, for your, if you were wondering, the headers were worth about 10 horsepower at this stock power level over the stock exhaust manifolds. So run it run in stock trim with a Holly management system, and we had I think 36 pound injectors in this thing. Our five liter produced 261 horsepower with long tube headers on it and 321 foot-pounds of torque. To give you an idea, if we were to just add a single turbo kit to this, or even a twin turbo, you could do it you know, inexpensively. Uh, a good turbo or turbos with an intercooler and you know, the right size injector, and as long as you could tune this, if we were to run 14.7 pounds of boost, we normally double the power output. So it's really easy math. Take the NA power output, multiply it by two, we get 504 horsepower at 14.7 pounds. If you want to run less boost uh, on this combination, if you only need to run 7.35 pounds or <laughs> instead of adding one atmosphere, you're adding half an atmosphere. Again, we're doing this for easy math. Multiply the horsepower number times 1.5 and we get 378 horsepower at 7.35 pounds and 504 horsepower at 14.7 pounds. So pretty easy to gain power, you know, with just boost, even if, even if you, all you have is basically a bone stock combination. So now let's take a look at the modifications and we'll use the same math at all these modification levels and figure out where we would be if we added a turbo to each one of those combos. Okay, now we're taking a look at our stock motor. Let's take a look at what happens when we added our modifications. And the first thing we did was uh, upgrade the intake manifold on our five liter. We went from the normal HO intake manifold to a GT40 and that improved power up to 279 horsepower. I can show you. See, um, good gains, you know, mostly at the top above, well, at the top above 3,800 RPM and most prevalent out at five and 5,500. You can see, so we had 279 horsepower and we'll use our same math for the turbo. If we were to double that at 14.7 pounds, we got 558 horsepower. If we were to add 7.35 pounds, we multiply that by 1.5, we get 419 horsepower. So you can kind of see where things are going. And don't worry, I'm gonna have a matrix at the end of this to show you all of these different gains and all of their relative power outputs at different boost levels. So the next thing we did was install a camshaft. This was the Extreme Energy 274 cam on our five liter. Peak power went up to 312 horsepower. So if we double that, we get 624 horsepower. So if you ran a canned and a GT40 uh, on your stock motor, you would pick the power up quite a bit, but under boost, you get it gets multiplied. So the gains are even greater. 
and 624 horsepower at 14.7 pounds and 468 horsepower at 7.3 pounds. So we're still starting to make some, you know, fairly decent power, especially under boost. Here's what happened when we added a set of ported heads to this combination. These were from RHS. Picked up power to 354 horsepower. Now we're talking about at 14.7 pounds, making over 700 horsepower and 531 horsepower at 7.35 pounds. And then our final modification on this was to add a Holly, a modified Holly system X intake manifold. We had the guys from extrude home go through the upper and lower Holly system X manifold. And obviously it worked very well. Now what was happening here is we, we saw a big gain. We went up to 795 horsepower, you know, making power out a little bit farther. Now there was a loss down low compared to the GT40 intake manifold. Uh, the, the system axis is a little bit more of an RPM manifold, especially after we ported it. But what happened here really is that we, we now are starting to see the gains offered by the cylinder heads because before the GT40 intake manifold was holding back the extra flow and the extra power potential offered by the ported heads. Now with a good intake manifold, we could see the intake manifold itself did very well. And also now the heads were actually going, oh great, now I can breathe. So 395 horsepower, which if we added 14.7 pounds of boost would put us at 790 horsepower. So it would be up quite a bit or 593 horsepower. So now let's take a look and see what happened when I actually ran a turbo on this modified combination. We can kind of see where that was. I can explain to you why I didn't exactly follow the formula, but we'll take a look at a comparison. Hey, look, we made 395 horsepower. If you remember right, if we just had our stock motor and added like seven and a half pounds of boost, we would have made the same power output uh, as we did by adding all of these modifications. So that's kind of the beauty of the turbo, but let's take a look and see what happened when we really added a turbo to this combination. Okay, guys, we've taken a look and see what happens when we add all of our different modifications to our five liter 302. Here was our stock one with headers. And then here's what it looked like when we had all the modifications, the Holly System X, the ported heads, the extreme energy camshaft, you can see it was started. It, it, the power gains that we got were pretty good. We went from 260 horsepower to 394. But here is what happened. I'm going to go ahead and swing myself down here a little bit, get out of the way. Here is what happened when we added a turbo to our modified 302. Go ahead and zing myself up here and get out of the way. You can see. <laughs> Turbos are amazing, <laughs> made lots of power, 620 horsepower, 622 horsepower, and 637, 37 foot-pounds of torque. So it did very well, and this was at a little over 10 pounds, and if you do the math, it's not really following the formula, and I can... Uh, we can talk about why. Um, the reason for that is that we use a fairly small turbo and we only use a 72 millimeter turbo on there. And when I ran this, uh, I was very conservative. I was, I was kind of concerned about hurting this motor. I didn't think that the, I wasn't too concerned about hurting the stock block, but I just, I wanted this test motor to keep living for a really long time. So we were only running about 21 degrees of timing on this, which is not very much at this boost level, we had good fuel and we had a mixture of uh, 91 and 100 octane race fuel and we weren't running very much boost. We did have an intercooler on it. This was the kit from the guys at HP Performance, but it was a turbo that I had laying around and it wasn't normally the whole set turbo that we run when we run this combination. So it, they, they will definitely do it at, at seven pounds. It will do one and a half times and at 14.7 pounds, it will do double the power out. We've done this a lot as long as all the things are right. And this is a perfect example of what happens when everything is not right. <laughs> when you don't have the timing, the intercooling, uh, the, the fuel that you need, all, all of the things. And we, were, and we also were running out of fuel on our 36 pound injectors too. So we had a few problems going on, but it does show you what happens. And the thing that I want to point out is take a look at what happens uh, on our modified motor. So if you add, uh, take your five liter motor and add heads, cam and intake manifold, and you could be near 395, 400 horsepower right in that range. It's pretty easy to get there with a turbo and a stock motor. So the consideration will be, what should I spend my money on? Can I spend my money on 
you know, heads, cam, and intake, and and not and aluminum heads are always recommended. They're good. Um, they flow well. Uh, not just RHS, but Airflow Research or Trick Flow. Or there are lots of available dart. There are lots of good ones out there. But where should I actually spend my money? If I have to choose spending on heads or cam or intake manifold, or I can choose and do a do-it-yourself or a low-dollar turbo kit, which one of those should I do? And I think I would almost always recommend the turbo kit. Now, if I was doing a turbo kit and doing a do-it-yourself and trying to make some power, I think I would try to find a cheap cam somewhere. Lots of guys are selling used ones. And you could also go to the wrecking yard and get a set of iron GT40 heads from a 5-liter Explorer. That's what I would do. I'm sure all the please make sure like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.